What if I told you that right now, drifting billions of kilometers away, a half-century-old spacecraft is still whispering back to us from the edge of eternity, though its voice is growing weaker with every passing day. This is the story of Voyager 1, a spacecraft launched in 1977 that has traveled farther than anything humanity has ever built. For nearly five decades, it has ventured beyond the sun's reach, carrying with it not just scientific instruments, but humanity's message in a bottle, the golden record. But today, its mission is no longer about discovery alone. It's about survival, about squeezing out the last sparks of energy before its lights go out forever. Imagine a lone wanderer, endlessly drifting in the cold, star-filled void. That is Voyager 1. Once armed with a full suite of instruments, it unveiled volcanic worlds around Jupiter, captured the intricate rings of Saturn, and gave us the iconic pale blue dot, a reminder of Earth's fragility. It was also Voyager 1 that confirmed humanity's first steps into interstellar space in 2012, crossing the invisible boundary where the sun's influence ends. But time takes its toll, even on legends. Its tiny nuclear power source, plutonium that has burned like a candle for nearly 50 years, now fades a little more each year. NASA's engineers face agonizing choices, which instruments to shut down, which memories to let go of, all in order to keep a faint heartbeat alive. In 2025, the cosmic ray detector that once proved Voyager had crossed into interstellar space was turned off, a painful sacrifice. By 2026, only a couple of instruments may remain. And yet, Voyager continues to surprise. In October 2024, it suddenly went silent after a power surge shut down its main transmitter. For days, Earth heard nothing. But against all odds, a backup radio unused since 1981 came to life. A weak signal returned, and cheers echoed through NASA's control rooms. A spacecraft nearly half a century old had once again defied death. Beyond the science, Voyager carries a deeper gift, the golden record. Etched in gold, it holds greetings in 55 languages, sounds of Earth's forests and oceans, and music spanning continents and centuries. From Bach to Chuck Berry, from Peruvian pan pipes to tribal chants, it is humanity's mixtape to the universe, a time capsule of who we are and what we dream of. Even if no one ever finds it, it reflects back at us the best of our creativity, our hope, and our longing to connect with something greater. Yet, the end is inevitable. Voyager 1, the most distant human creation in existence, is slowly approaching its twilight. By the year 2036, its nuclear heart, the plutonium that has powered its voyage since 1977, will no longer generate enough energy to keep even its faintest signal alive. One by one, its instruments will have gone dark, its transmitters silenced, until at last there will be nothing left but silence. For the first time in nearly six decades, Earth will no longer hear the whisper of its farthest traveler. It will be as though a trusted companion, who has shared every step of a long journey with us, has finally fallen quiet. When that moment arrives, Voyager will not be gone, it will be transformed, deprived of power, it will no longer be a messenger but instead a monument, a silent relic of the late 20th century, drifting through interstellar space with no destination, no return, and no audience. It will be a ghost ship, carrying with it humanity's voice, frozen in time, preserved on the golden record strapped to its side. What makes Voyager's afterlife so hauntingly beautiful is that, unlike us, it will endure. It will continue its silent passage across the Milky Way for millions, perhaps billions, of years. Long after cities crumble into dust, long after mountains wear away and oceans shift, long after the languages we speak are forgotten, Voyager will remain. Even if humanity disappears entirely, Voyager will still be there, an artifact of our existence, still carrying the fingerprints of a species that once looked up at the stars and dared to reach them. In this way, Voyager may become one of the longest-lasting traces of humankind. Stone monuments on Earth may erode, libraries may burn, data may be lost, but this spacecraft, smaller than a bus, older than many of the people alive today, could outlast it all. In a cosmic sense, Voyager is immortal. It is destined to wander through the galaxy like a bottled message cast into an endless ocean, perhaps never found, but always drifting. And yet, there is a poetic tension here. While Voyager itself will survive, its voice will not. The faint radio transmissions that travel nearly a full day across space to reach us are temporary. They rely on energy, and energy is running out. Once those signals cease, we will no longer have a direct connection to this ambassador. We will only be able to watch the night sky and imagine where it is, moving at nearly 17 kilometers per second into the unknown. Yet, the end is inevitable. Voyager 1, the most distant human creation in existence, is slowly approaching its twilight. By the year 2036, its nuclear heart, 
the plutonium that has powered its voyage since 1977 will no longer generate enough energy to keep even its faintest signal alive. One by one, its instruments will have gone dark, its transmitters silenced, until at last there will be nothing left but silence. For the first time in nearly six decades, Earth will no longer hear the whisper of its farthest traveler. It will be as though a trusted companion, who has shared every step of a long journey with us, has finally fallen quiet. When that moment arrives, Voyager will not be gone, it will be transformed. Deprived of power, it will no longer be a messenger but instead a monument. A silent relic of the late 20th century, drifting through interstellar space with no destination, no return, and no audience. It will be a ghost ship, carrying with it humanity's voice, frozen in time, preserved on the golden record strapped to its side. What makes Voyager's afterlife so hauntingly beautiful is that, unlike us, it will endure. It will continue its silent passage across the Milky Way for millions, perhaps billions, of years, long after cities crumble into dust, long after mountains wear away and oceans shift, long after the languages we speak are forgotten, Voyager will remain. Even if humanity disappears entirely, Voyager will still be there, an artifact of our existence, still carrying the fingerprints of a species that once looked up at the stars and dared to reach them. In this way, Voyager may become one of the longest-lasting traces of humankind. Stone monuments on Earth may erode, libraries may burn, data may be lost, but this spacecraft, smaller than a bus, older than many of the people alive today, could outlast it all. In a cosmic sense, Voyager is immortal. It is destined to wander through the galaxy like a bottled message cast into an endless ocean, perhaps never found, but always drifting. And yet, there is a poetic tension here. While Voyager itself will survive, its voice will not. The faint radio transmissions that travel nearly a full day across space to reach us are temporary. They rely on energy, and energy is running out. Once those signals cease, we will no longer have a direct connection to this ambassador. We will only be able to watch the night sky and imagine where it is, moving at nearly 17 kilometers per second into the unknown. This inevitable silence forces us to reflect on the fragility of human achievement. Voyager 1 was built by human hands during the Cold War, when computers filled entire rooms and the internet was just a dream. And yet, it has traveled farther than we ever imagined possible. It has crossed boundaries no human has crossed, and it has rewritten our understanding of the cosmos. But even legends must rest. Even the most resilient machines must one day surrender to time. Voyager reminds us that no creation, no matter how extraordinary, can last forever. And still, there is triumph in its fate, for Voyager will not die in the way we think of death. It will simply shift into a new role, from explorer to relic, from a tool of science to a symbol of endurance. It will continue its endless journey around the center of the Milky Way, completing one galactic orbit every 225 million years. Across that incomprehensible span of time, civilizations may rise and fall, stars may be born and extinguished, entire planets may form and vanish, and Voyager will still be drifting silently, untouched by all of it. Perhaps, one distant day, some other intelligence, human or otherwise, may stumble upon this quiet traveler. They may find the golden record, decode its messages, and discover who we were, a species that once lived on a pale blue dot, a species that laughed, sang, loved, and dreamed. The odds of that happening are incredibly small, but the possibility itself is a kind of victory. Voyager carries not just information, but aspiration. It represents our yearning to connect, our refusal to let the universe remain silent. It will carry our legacy far beyond the lifetimes of our civilizations, and perhaps even beyond the lifespan of our species itself. Long after Earth's voice grows quiet, Voyager will still be out there, orbiting the galaxy like a silent messenger. And as it sails into the endless dark, it will bear witness to the fact that once, on a pale blue world circling an ordinary yellow star, there existed a people who refused to be bound by their horizon. A people who dared to dream of other worlds, and who sent a fragment of themselves into eternity. Voyager 1 is more than just a machine, it is a symbol of human determination, a reminder that curiosity can outlive generations. Every fading signal it sends is not just data, it's proof that we dared to reach beyond our world. As its power dims, its legacy only grows brighter, inspiring us to keep asking, keep exploring, 
and keep reaching for the unknown.